Hi guys. So I got a whole bunch of these really cute ornament wooden ornaments. Um, they're pre-cut. They come in these cute little packages. Um, you can get them on Amazon. So they come with the um, little hanger things and everything. And so these are like a Christmas ornament one. I got snowflake. I got snowman. <laughs> Um, I got star, I got bells, I got some hearts, and some angels. So, I think these are going to be super fun. I'm going to do some acrylic pouring with these ornaments. A little different. I'm going to pour out the paint onto the plastic. I'm going to dip these and see what happens. <laughs> So I picked white. This is the Payne's Gray, so it'll be the dark. Um, this one is just Artist Loft light blue. And the special one, which is super pretty, is Folk Art Color Shift. Um, so it's the Aqua Flash. So it kind of goes from greeny to blue. It's really, really pretty. Um, so I'm super excited about that color. And I'm going to see what that looks like with the rest of these. <laughs> so we're going to just experiment with a whole bunch of different different ornaments, um, different techniques. <laughs> um, yeah, and basically see what happens. Oh, you can hear my puppy. <laughs> He's barking away up there. So... <laughs> I gave them a treat, so of course they fight over the same treat. Um, so I'm going to take some of these out. And to start, I think we're just going to start with um, the ornaments here, which are super cute. And they're just like wooden, but they'll make like pretty little ornaments once I either resin or varnish them. So. I'm going to see how that's going to go. I could do dirty pour on each of these, but they're pretty tiny. So I think what I'll do is the dipping thing, I think, is going to work really good. So, yeah. And to dip them, I might tape them to the back of one of these uh, shot glasses or something. <laughs> So it's easier to dip them. So let's see, what could I use? Well, I could always just use the... We're getting innovative here. So, if I go like this, I can boop, dip like that, and then just take that off somehow. <laughs> we'll see if this works out. <laughs> This will be my sticky end. Maybe if I tape around, it'll hold that sticky end on to the empty jar, just like so. Ta-da! There we go. Alright, so that works. So that should work for dipping. Um, so I just have my plastic laid out. And let's see. Oh, I gotta put silicone. <laughs> we want cells to happen. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of silicone. You don't need very much. I only put like two drops. Um, I put a couple drops in there. I might not put any drops in the white. So the silicone goes a long way. And I'm just going to mix it in a bit. I don't mind if the cells are a little small because these are ornaments. It's not like a big painting. So the more you mix the silicone in, the smaller your cells are going to be. So this should be kind of fun. So this is just exactly how I do paint skins is I all the leftover paint I just have on plastic. But I discovered that I could also do some uh, 
maybe some ornaments with it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to play around with some pouring of the colors. I don't want to put too much dark, but definitely want quite a bit of this pretty flash color. And then maybe a bit more white. Now it's totally spreading out, which is totally cool, and you're probably wondering, what the heck? I'm going to use this to kind of get some cells going, maybe? And we got some cells going. <laughs> I had paper towel. Oh, here it is. So, okay, let's see. I'm just going to dippy dip. Ooh, pretty. I'm going to put that there. And you know what I need is my torch. Which is way up here. <laughs> Torch. So when you're torching the ornament, look at all the little cells that are happening. Looks really cute. So that's a super cute one. So I'm going to let that one dry. So boop. Put that over there. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep going with my handy dandy little thing and just see how... Uh-oh. <laughs> well, my sticker thing didn't stick too well. That's okay. And then I'm going to torch them. And that's looking really good. Let's try a snowman. I'm just going to open the snowman package. I should have just opened all the packages, but... So the snowman has the cute little stars in the middle. So maybe I'll just drop them in there. <laughs> and then pull them out. Ooh. Cool. So, Ooh, hot. Careful there. <laughs> Super cute though. I even love this paint skin that's happening. Let's see what else we got. We also have snowflakes, so I'm going to try that. Maybe I'll use my dabber this time. See if we can get some... Just want to make sure basically... Oh, look how pretty that one is. That um, all of your... Your wooden um, ornament gets covered so that you have paint over the whole thing. But I like that. That one's super pretty. Okay. To dry. <laughs> Let's just keep going. So this is basically what I'm just going to keep doing. And you're going to get a different effect each time. With different little cells.
And you can add, like, if I wanted more dark to come in, I can definitely add some dark back in here. You know, if I think there's too much light going on, just add a bit of dark back in. Because once you squish, look right there, it's going to mix it together. So, and there's already more cells happening. Oh, I like that one. That one looks really good. <laughs> Let's do some snowman with the dark. Oh, I almost lost him. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's okay. He's still got paint on him. <laughs> we still got cells forming. Okay guys, so I've got a whole bunch of ornaments and last but not least I'm going to add some glitter. So I have a couple different kinds. I have one called confetti um, and then this one is called like blanc, blanc rosé so I don't know. <laughs> Basically they all look pretty cute. All I do is I just put a bit on my finger and I just dabble the sparkle glitter onto the ornament <laughs> so that it's nice and sparkly for the Christmas tree. I think it looks really good. Um, I do this to the paint skins as well. So I just thought I'd show you that I add a bit of glitter to them, make them nice and sparkle, and then let them dry basically. <laughs> and there's usually glitter everywhere after, but <laughs> you know. They're for a Christmas tree, so don't be afraid to use a bunch of glitter. And then once these are dry, I'm going to probably resin some or varnish them. I'm going to see. Um, try both out, and then I'll show you guys the difference. So. Okay, so here are three examples of um, the bell ornaments that I created. And I wanted to show you the different finishes. Um, so basically, this one I used Liquidex gloss varnish, and I had to put like 10 coats just to get it to be shiny. This one is just one coat of resin and this one is just one coat of the gloss varnish so I just wanted to kind of show you the difference between these two so I'm gonna bring them up so you can see so the resin is super smooth you can see by the light it's super even super shiny 
it bubbled nice on the sides. Um, the Liquid X gloss has a little bit of bumps and texture to it. It's still shiny, but it did get a little bit like there's like a little bit of indentation and cracking and stuff, and I think it's just from so many layers. So if you can see, I do prefer the resin over the Liquid X varnish. It's just super, so smooth, and it's just so, uh, makes the colors really pop and shiny. And then I'll just show you this one, which is just one coat of the Liquid X varnish. So it coats it, but it doesn't make it. Let's see here, super shiny. Let's see if I can refocus on it. So you can kind of see the difference with the light. So with the Liquid X varnish, you'd have to put several coats. Um, it is doable. It does. It's not as smooth as resin, so you can kind of see a little bit the dipples and stuff and divots that kind of happen. Um, one coat really just covers it, but doesn't really make it super glossy. So those are the three separate kinds of coating. So I basically went with resin to coat all of my ornaments because it just it was one step and it made it super glossy and even and leveled out and uh, worked really good so I definitely suggest the resin I know it is more expensive but to be honest when you have to put seven to ten coats of liquid X, uh, gloss varnish it uh, might equal out in price anyways. Um, the only thing I didn't do is on the back, when I did the resin, is I should have taped off the back because resin did drip on the back, so I had to grind it off. Um, but then I painted it a pretty blue, so... Whereas with the Liquid X, I haven't painted the back yet, but you don't get that issue where if you get you know you don't if you get liquid x gloss on the back it's not going to pool up and make a big issue and so yeah i'm gonna i do do before i resin i do cover all of the ornaments with a coat of liquid x gloss varnish to seal them and make sure there's no silicone coming through and then i coat them with the with the uh resin so yeah, but they just make a super smooth, super durable surface that makes the colors really pop and super shiny. So, and those are the pretty ornaments.